What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the Material UI Crash Course. And in this video, we're gonna be covering the rating component inside of Material UI. So let's go ahead and get started. We're, first thing we're gonna do inside of our inputs folder here, let's go ahead and create our ratings. I'm gonna call it ratings example.jsx. Then RFC is gonna generate our functional component. If I get that to work, there we go. And as you can see here, let's go ahead and go into our app.js and we'll just say, ratings example there we go now uh if this is the first uh video you're watching out of the tutorial then if you go back to the video number one i'll put a link down to it, to it in the description below you need to install material ui so otherwise it's, it's not going to work so make sure you install material ui and let's go ahead and move on with it here so again if you go to here the menu components we are on the rating tab right there so all sorts of cool things we can do with the ratings um Let's go ahead and check out our ratings uh, component here that we just created. So let's go ahead and bring in a few things here. So no ratings given. Let's have a look here. So let's go ahead and grab. Let's go ahead and grab some ratings here. So we'll say, let's see here. Let's go ahead and open this up and look at the code here. So let's go ahead and grab this typography. The typography is also another uh, component you can use inside of Material UI, which we haven't covered yet, but we soon will. So let's go ahead and copy this one here. We'll paste that in there, just some state there. Uh, and we'll just grab this here, which is the box element. And we'll just paste that in there, just like so. Let's go ahead and save, make sure it formats nicely there. Uh, so we're gonna need to import a few things if we haven't, oh yeah, we already did. So let's go ahead and see what it gives us. So you have it, we have our components here. Um, if you click on this, it actually keeps track of this in our state. Um, if you wanna push this to a database, you can do that as well. Right now, we're just keeping it locally here in our state. So um, even if we have all these selected, if we refresh, it's gonna go back to our default value. Um, if we look down here, see value, value. By default, we have the value set here to two. So uh, if you were to change this to five, for example, or refresh, you're gonna see these top uh, three examples actually have five stars. Um, we can change that back down too. So this is something that you could store in a database somewhere if you're using something like Firebase or, or anything else like that. Um, so also down here, it has the disabled um, disabled uh, property there as well. So if you remove that, you can see that it should lighten back up. You can actually change it again. And then if you were to actually put this back in there, disabled, then it'll uh, gray back out. And again, you can't. it's not clickable whenever you, uh, whenever you rate it. So also if there is uh you always want to have this value property here uh for material ui and again if there's no ratings you just want to leave it as null um so that we can do that as well leave it as null so let's have a look and see what else we have here um you can do some half stars default value 2.5 so that's kind of cool um let's go in here let's we change that we'll say we'll say default value value just like that and we'll say 2.5 let's go ahead and save and see what that says there oh that looks like it's rounding up so let's see if we need some extra code in there precision oh there we go let's copy that precision attribute there so read only precision see if that did the trick there so there you have it so if you want to add the precision there just like that so it's kind of cool there uh let's see what else we have we have some hover uh, feedback we have the sizing change the size uh, looks like by default we're probably sitting around this medium so let's do in this middle one here we'll say uh, size we'll say large Ooh, it looks like yeah let's say large yeah that's like that let's see what it says there mm -mm. so disabled that's the one right there so let's look at this read only there we'll say size whoops there we go size large let's go ahead and save you go, beefs it up a little bit there, kind of cool. Um, let's see what else we can do here. Ooh, we can do some icons there, custom icons, that's pretty cool. Let's have a look at that. So let's see how easy it is to do the icons there. So um, let's see, let's go ahead and take in this right here. So we'll copy and paste that in here. So we have the styles. Uh, we'll just import that right there. Um, let's see, we're gonna need, we'll grab this. There we go. And let's see. We'll grab this. We'll just replace the whole thing with this box there just to make it easy. And let's have a look at that. Go ahead and paste that in there. Let's save. Looks like we're getting some errors here. Let's see what the errors are. Uh, oh, just some syntax errors there. There we go. Let's go ahead and save that. 
let's see favorite icon favorite icon is not defined so let's go ahead and just need to import the favorite icon so we'll grab these two here and let's just paste that in there like so see if that took up anything all right there you have it now you have the icons there so cool look at that you guys this is how easy it is to incorporate this material ui you guys if you're still writing all your custom css you're doing it the hard way it is the long way uh noble potentially maybe eh. But you guys, uh, nobody really cares about that. So save some time and uh, use a React library, a, a CSS library like this. So look, looks like we have radio group in here too. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Changes colors based on the um, based on the value there. So that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I think that I think that about wraps it up pretty well. So hit the like button, you guys, if you feel like you got some value out of this. And next up, we're going to be looking at the select, okay, the select component and material UI. So thanks for watching. Let's move on to the next one.